guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so today we are going to do a little Valentine's Day look I'm gonna do a little pink glam and see what we can create so if this is your type of video sit back relax and we'll go ahead and get started and my shirt is pink it looks like it may be pulling off like it's kind of orange but it is a pink shirt so I do want to let you know that it's not orange I wouldn't mix orange and pink anyway but we're gonna go ahead and get started and see what we can create. So I'm just using my Believe Beauty eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna prime my lids. And again, I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and we're just gonna go ahead and blend out the lids here. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably use just a couple eyeshadow palettes today. I'm going to use the Milani palette. Uh, this is, uh, which one is this? The Gilded Mini, it's all rose palette. So I'm gonna use this palette today. And then I am going to use the Naked Urban Decay Cherry palette. I was gifted this as well. So this is the palette we're gonna to use today as well. And in the Naked palette, I'm gonna use a couple of these transition colors here to set my eyelids, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So this is what the palette looks like here. So now that the transition colors are on, I am going to go in with the Milani uh, palette here and we're going to go ahead and start and, you know, dip it into the pinks. I will probably go back and forth in between each palette depending on what kind of coverage I get on my eyelids. So we'll go ahead in with this pink color here, this light pink color here. Actually, I may just mix these two colors here and see what happens. Okay, so I must say the Milani palette is very pigmented. I like the colors here. Yeah, I'm just playing around with it and seeing what I can create. I'm going to try and build it up a little bit more. I'm going to go back in with the Naked palette and see what other colors I can use. All right, so I'm probably just going to dip into a couple of these pinks over here, probably a little bit of the darker pinks here, and then I'm going to go in with a shimmer between Milani and the Urban Decay palette. So let's see here. I'm just going to mix these two colors here.
very pigmented as well, this Urban Decay palette. Shout out to my girl Christy who gifted this to me. I really like it. I told her I would use it. So shout out to you, girl. So it looks like it's becoming a little splotchy on the end here. So I'm just gonna blend it in this way. Sometimes eyeshadows can do that and especially me mixing a couple different palettes together. That's probably what happened, but it's okay. We'll still make it work. All right, so there's that. And then I'm probably gonna do Let's see here. So I'm probably gonna do like a winged liner and then I'm probably gonna go in with this uh, light shimmer shade here and put it on top of my eyelid and see what it creates. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a winged liner and this is called the Big Fat Liner. This is what I'm gonna use. This is one of these that I had received in a BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna use this. I just, these remind me of like a coloring crown. They're so, big but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and do this i don't know if you guys are like me or not but it seems like well i'm right-handed so it seems like you can do your right side faster than your left side and you can do your right side better than your left side So that is that. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the left side. Okay, so the wing liner is on. So we're gonna go with that. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. It's on there, so that's that. And then I'm going to go in with my shimmer that I was telling you about. I think I mixed the colors. I think I am going to go in with this Milani light pink color here. I'm gonna go in with this one. And I think I'm gonna go in with this this color right here. It is called Ambitious. So I'm gonna go in with those two colors and see what happens here. I'm gonna try my fingers. I'm gonna use my fingers and see here. So Ambitious is almost the same color. It looks like it's just blending right in with the eyeshadow. And it looks like I'm gonna do my wing liner over again. Very pigmented shimmers, so that is very nice here. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this light pink color that I was telling you about from Milani. Just put that over as well. Yeah, I'm about to redo my wing liner. Okay, so that is both of the colors mixed on there. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my primer on my face, my primer water. And then um, I'm gonna do my makeup application a little bit different today because I've been seeing something about underpainting. So I wanna try it out. I wanna do my concealer first and then 
um, put on my foundation because I have dark circles. I'm over 40. I'm not in my 20s. I'm not in my 30s. So I am aging. So, um, you know, you lose your elasticity under your eye. So therefore, it's going to draw down a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to see how that works. I'm going to see if underpainting works for me, for my age. And maybe if you guys like it, then you guys can try it as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray my primer on my face. And I did get a fan. So I did get a fan so I can dry my face instead of raising my hands all the time to dry my face. All right, so I went ahead and sprayed my face with the primer. Now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my pore primer on first. I'm gonna let that sink in the skin while I'm doing the concealer. So I'm using my Coutrice Poreless Blur Primer. I'm still using this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm just focusing it on the pores. I realize I don't need it all over my face. Just my T-zone. All right, so this new thing that I've seen with this underpainting, like I said, I'm going to apply my foundation just a little bit different today. And I'm just, it's just sampling it out to see what happens. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put on my concealer. So concealer is gonna be first. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it like right here, a little bit below your under eye right here and then of course right here i said i wanted to try this out to see if it works for me or not because i do have dark circles and again i am not in my 20s or my 30s anymore okay so we're gonna let this sit on here for probably for like two or three minutes and then i will blend it out Okay, so now that the concealer has set in for a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and blend it out, and then we will go ahead and apply the foundation. Okay, so I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge, and we're going to go ahead and just blend this out here. All right, and then for your foundation, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. Um, this is the new uh, CC cream that came out by e.l.f. And I have the shade Tan 450N. So that is the color there. And with this um, underpainting, um, she also did mention like to put your foundation on and actually mix it in with a primer, like a power grip primer. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today. So I'm just going to see. I'm going to take one pump here. And this is the color of it here. So it looks like it may be a little bit dark, but we'll work with it and see what happens. Yeah, it does look dark. Looks like more of my summer shade, but we'll make it work. And then I'm just going to mix the Power Grip uh, Primer by e.l.f. It has 4% niacinamide in it. So that is that there. So I'm just going to mix these. So I just mix like half a pump of that primer in that foundation on the back of my hand. Yeah, this does look dark. Hmm. See? Well, let's see what happens. I mean, first impressions too. So let's see what happens. I hope I don't look too bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna apply it and see what happens. a lot of coverage being that this is a CC cream um, but we're gonna see what it does so far the color it's not too bad yes it is a little bit darker but I'll make it work
So, I mean, it looks nice. It looks glowy, as you can tell. It's glowing from that primer inside the foundation, the mix. The color, the color is pretty good. Um, as long as I didn't go ham on it, then I don't look too bad. I look like I may have a little bit of a tan, but it's nothing that's not, it's not over the top. So I don't look too dark. All right. So now we're going to go back into um, the under eyes. And I do see a little bit of creasing. Like I said, you're still going to have creasing because that's just how it is. You're going to age. So I do have a little bit of creasing still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my setting powder. I'm using the Wet n Wild Banana Photo Focus Powder. It's a loose setting powder. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in the palm of my hand here. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to use the tip of it and try to blend the creases out before I set it with the powder. So we're going to try that. And you're just like basically pushing up on your eye, on your under eye. And then what I'm gonna do is take my powder puff and set my under eye with the powder. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the next side. So I'm just looking up, I'm just trying to push up the creases a little bit. And then set my under eye immediately with the setting powder. So there's that. Yes, I have it on my nose, go ahead. All right, so we've done that. And we're just gonna let it sit on there for maybe 30 seconds. I don't wanna sit on there too long because I don't wanna look old and wrinkly under my eyes. So not even 30 seconds, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take my Real Technique setting brush, setting powder brush, and just dust it off. Okay, so it is set. It has been, you know, it has been set with the Real Technique setting brush. So we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the makeup and we're gonna see what happens. See how the final, you know, finish looks. So now I am going to take some of my setting powder, the same setting powder. I'm gonna dip my sponge in there. So I just dipped my sponge in that setting, the same setting powder, and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand to tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this powder. Cause me personally, I don't like a dewy look. My skin is combination. So I don't really like that dewy look, but do what works for you. I know some people like that glow and everything. Yeah, the glow looks nice, it's healthy and everything like that. But me, no, my skin, it builds up oil after a while, so. And I just keep pressing it over and over. Okay, I'm done with that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do bronzer, blush, highlight. I need to do lashes. So now we're gonna go ahead and complete the face. Um, so. Go ahead in with bronzer. So for today, I'm gonna to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in Endless Summer. So that's that shade right there. There's the bronzer, and then for blush, I am going to use the Milani blush, which is Bella Bellini. I like this one. This one and the Luminoso are my favorite blushes from Milani. So we're gonna use that today. I'm just using that because it's pink. So, and of course today's look is pink. All right, so I'm using my Do Care highlighting brush. This brush is on its last leg. I'm gonna have to get me another one, but this is what I'm talking about. I use these brushes until either the wand is breaking off or if the um, brush itself starts shedding. So 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna use it up. And I don't know why I just used the highlighting brush for the blush, but you know what? It's all good because this blush actually has highlight in it. So it's all good. I don't know if you guys can tell it, but there's like a little highlight in this blush itself. And then, so I'm doing my makeup backwards. I'm just like all over the place with my makeup today, but it's all good. All right, so now I'm going to use my e.l.f. So now I'm going to use my little e.l.f. blush and highlight palette as well. This one is in Pomegranate. Is that how you pronounce it? Pomegranate? That's what it is, Pomegranate. So yes, I'm gonna use this for blush and highlight. But I just put on the blush from Milani, but it does have a highlight to it. But you know what? Let's just go all out for it. So let's do it. All right. So here's my blush brush. I'm dipping in there. Give it a little bit more color. All right. So then let's do some more highlighter. And I'm going to use the same brush. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so there's that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do lashes, lower lash line, mascara. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and pop on these lashes here. And I'm gonna use my Kiss number 11 lashes and we're gonna do that today. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop on my lashes and then we'll be back to finish up the rest of the face. All right, so lashes are on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the waterline and then we'll go ahead and do the mascara. So I'm still using my LA Girl Gel Eyeliner in very black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline here. So that's done, and then we're gonna go ahead in with mascara. And today I'm just gonna use the Believe Beauty mascara. All right, and I'm gonna let that dry down for a moment and then I will go ahead and just line the lower lash line um, with that eyeshadow that I used, probably from the Urban Decay palette. Um, so we'll do that here in just a moment here. And then I'm thinking I might go in with this little gold shade right here and just pop that in the inner corner of my eye. put on lipstick and we should be done with this long drug out video okay so I'm actually just going to go in with my elf lip plumping gloss and this one is in sparkling rose I don't really need a lip plumper but I'll go ahead and use it because it's pink All right, so this completes the look, guys. Um, I do like that underpainting technique. I feel that my eyes look a little bit more smoother um, than prior before of how I used to do my concealer. So I do like that technique. I will keep practicing with that and you know continue on with it until I see anything else. Um, but yeah, I do like that technique. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Again, thank you for sticking around. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and as always, stay blessed.